Children are really natural engineers, and there's a natural inclination of all people to design and improve what they do. So cool. It's, it's now moving across the track. I just saw the excitement, the engagement. I just saw the kids come to life in a different way. As they're leaving, they tug on me, don't let us go. That is totally powerful, that a program brings that much excitement that kids don't want to leave and they're begging and trying to find out, when do we get to come back? The Engineering is Elementary project is a product of the National Center for Technological Literacy at the Museum of Science in Boston. And our mission is really to cultivate problem solving and innovation in young children by doing hands-on engineering activities. I like engineering because you get to create stuff and learn, and you get to learn more too. You get to know a lot more when you engineer. It's more hands-on, it's like more exciting than you, the like average school day. We spend about 98% of our time or more interacting with the human-made world. The building that we're sitting in, the chair, our clothing, are all made by engineers, but in the course of our schooling, we spend almost no time learning about how that world comes to be. The engineering at elementary curriculum, the units, really fill in a missing piece in elementary classrooms. I like that it has a lot of group problem solving. So let's say number three, but we'll, we'll just bend number three. How about that? So, so it'll be half a mutt. It will look like your idea, but it will, it will do the things that are in my idea. Mm -hmm. So it's both of ours mixed up. I have more and more kids telling me now that they don't just want to be a professional football player or an actress or a pop star, that they're, you know, they're thinking about engineering as a career. When I grow up, I would like to be an engineer because I've been wanting to make things that would be helpful. And when I grow up, I think I can make things that would be helpful for people. EIE crosses so many content areas. They are doing reading, they are doing writing, they are doing math, they are doing science, so it hits all of our standards. Our project identified 20 of the most commonly taught science topics in elementary school, and that structured the fact that we would be doing 20 engineering as elementary units. We give the children a very simple five-step engineering design process that they use. That's the backbone of the whole program, is that little five-step process that the kids will go through and actually use to solve a problem of their own for each of our units. If you don't do the design process, you don't know how you're going to make it, or if you need to improve something and it might not be sturdy enough so you need the design process. So there are four lessons and each of the engineering is elementary units. I think my favorite part about lesson one is you build your background and the storybook really lends itself because it talks about the engineer. It gives you what you do learn already about literacy with character, setting, plot, but it includes more of that. Lesson two, it lets them see the world of the engineer. And at first, the students will hear about the engineer. Yeah, they read about it, but really, what do they do? And it makes that connection for them, for the real world. In lesson three, the students get a chance to see what the materials are. When they're able to touch and manipulate everything, they have a better grasp now when they get into your planning piece, your creating piece, and of course, your improving piece. I think lesson four was my favorite because they actually took everything they learned. I mean, starting from lesson one with the storybook, lesson two with the engineer, lesson three with the materials, they threw that all in. And they were like, hey, this actually works. Their own ideas, not what a storybook told them, not what instructions or even the teacher told them, but it's what they collaborated on. Who can be an engineer? Anyone. Anyone. And I hope that everybody realizes that, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. Even children. Even children. Every day I leave with the satisfaction knowing that that engineering lesson that I provided, it reached everybody. Nobody's head is down, everybody's high-fiving, they're huddled together doing teamwork, they're solving real-world problems. I really feel like EIE allows me to be the kind of teacher that I want to be.